up, MD, IFBB Pro Guy Sister Nino here at Gold's Gym Bridgewater, nine weeks out to the day from the 2016 Arnold Classic. We are gonna smash them arms today. This is my first debut this year at the Arnold Classic, so I'm extremely excited. I uh, just got back from uh, two weeks of being out of the gym due to uh, throat surgery I had. So I uh, got out of surgery and I uh, jumped right back into uh, training and prepping for the Arnold. So we're gonna smash some shit up and uh, get it rolling for nine more weeks until the Arnold Classic. Check it out. So the reason why we're doing them like this happens is you bring your chest out, open up, open up your chest, keep your rib cage up, puts more focus on your bicep. A lot of these guys will throw four or five fucking 45s on here, and they'll sit here and just throw it around like this. That's using momentum to get the bicep to work. This really isolates the bicep, especially when you open up your chest. There's no cheating in it. So if you've never tried it before, any any you can do it on any preacher curl machine. Just make sure your chest is open, your arms in a in an isolated position, keeping your wrist back, and just really squeeze and concentrate on the bicep. Can't get my grunts out. Both the stitches still in my throat. Ain't usual. Ain't your usual typical Sister Nina workout with the grunt. Got to be careful not to blow so many stitches out. Can't grunt, guys. Doctor orders were to not train for another week. But I'm nine weeks out from the Arnold, and I normally train about 10 to 12 weeks. So I was already almost a week behind. She told me to not train for another week. I told her, apparently you don't know who I am. I'm training. So I'm trying to keep the grunting to a minimum because I already blew two, two stitches out from apparently coughing or sneezing or something. So can't blow any more stitches out. I'll be in some serious fucking trouble. Okay. So, with the spider curls, you don't, same thing, you don't wanna come down, bring the bar underneath you, cause then you got the momentum coming back up, You're using your shoulders, momentum and not the bicep. It's the whole um, reason why I started working with Charles was to learn um, you know, different angles, um, different movements, and uh, you know, how to really emphasize the exercise that I'm using to hit the muscles and um, you know, with doing the spider curls, I used to come all the way underneath, all the way up. Same, same thing with leg extensions. I used to allow my legs to curl all the way underneath me. And uh, that's something I don't do anymore either. It takes the pressure off your uh, tendons of your knees. So I stop at a 90 degree, rather than having my knees come all the way underneath me. So when you're doing a spider curl, you really wanna stop 
here and not bring it back to here to come up. It can't go as heavy, but it's, uh, it's not about how heavy you can go. We're not power lifters, we're bodybuilders, and uh, nobody gives a fuck how much you can lift. Does it look cool? Yeah. But on stage, the judges don't give a shit how much you can bench, squat, power clean, all that shit. Just do it the right fucking way. Yep. So you stop it right there. His arm is not coming back to here. Stop right there. Good. Up. Come on, Rich. Right there. Good. Come on. Stop. Good. Squeeze. Good. Right. Yep. Okay. Come on. And that's how it's done, folks. So this is my first on a classic. This is the third year it's been going on. Um, I've been invited to it two years in a row, but um, pretty much turned it down because I didn't feel like I was ready. You know, with the Olympia in September, um, doesn't really give you much of an off season to make improvements. Myself, you know, t finally taking sixth at the Olympia, which um, I was satisfied with. Was I happy with? No, satisfied, yes, because it was my best placing. Um, yet as an IFBB pro, um, but going into the uh, Arnold Classic is, uh, is exciting for, for many, many reasons. And many reasons is, is because 99.9% .9 of those guys that I've competed against, I've at some point beaten. Um, the only guy I have not had the chance to beat yet is I thought I've beaten Jose, who's the reigning Arnold champion, and I've beaten um, David Henry, who was a Mr. Olympia, and I've beaten Charles Dixon. Um, Charles, who actually beat me for the first time, you lucky bastard, in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, that was uh, right after the Olympia. So, I mean, getting ready for this show, um, it's good. I didn't have a long off season. I didn't get a chance to get too chubby, especially with the surgery I just had December 17th. But um, you know, nothing really changed. I, I took about four weeks off after the uh, Phoenix show, um, came back, Bowls to the wall for about five weeks, then had to take a, a quick two week layoff because of my surgery. You know, people asking me differently what I'm gonna do for the Arnold. I mean, I don't do anything differently than I do off season pre contest. Um, you know, I'm one of the guys, I see all these guys posting videos using these fucking rubber bands and tying them to, to the machines or using these fucking kettlebells or doing all these like weird exercises. I'm one of the old school guys that just comes into the gym, throws some heavyweight on the fucking bar, clearly, obviously with good form, and fucking works out. I mean, that's what it's about. There's no science behind it. I see all these fucking guys coming out with all these methods and acronyms to, to their fucking theories of working out. And honestly, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. I don't think there's science behind training. You know, do I believe what Charles does in time under tension? Yes, it, there's, there's no theories behind it. It's just what fucking works. Um, it's heavyweight with a slow controlled movement, doing it correctly with proper form. And that's what bodybuilding is. You know, people always wanna know what the fucking secret is. The secret is, is to diet, eat clean food, and lift some heavy fucking weight. There's no secret behind hard work. Genetics can only get you so far in life. But if you're not willing to put in the fucking hard work, you're not gonna get anything accomplished. So my, my um, advice to anybody, that's getting ready for a show or off season, whatever it is, just put some heavy weight on the fucking bar and lift it with proper form and it's gonna get you somewhere. Don't listen to all those bullshit gurus or all those acronyms that think they know what the fuck they're talking about.
instead of starting with compound movements, we're end, I always end with a superset, by try. So we're gonna end with a compound movement, barbell curls right into close grip bench. So this is gonna be burnout from hell. Nine weeks to beat Jose. Coming after that ass, buddy. Better fucking outwork me, kid. Yep. I gotta tell you, I've worn a lot of shoes training there. Everybody was asking me about my Under Armour shoes, but these shoes from a heyday footwear, hands down the most comfortable shoes, best grip in the gym, squatting, deadlifting, even just when I bench, when I plant my feet, these things don't fucking move. These things are great. So if you don't have a pair, Highly suggest picking them up. And, a, and their camo. <laughs> There's no substitution for hard fucking work. Like I said before, I might not win every show, but I will not be outworked. And if you don't have that mentality, there's a big fucking problem. You gotta outwork the competition every day, every second, every minute. Every workout, every rep, every set. Ain't willing to put in the work, go to fuck home. Video, brother. Pre-training, obviously took my God of War Red pre-contest with the thermogenic in it. Post-workout, um, whether it's pre-contest or off-season, this is my stack. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take one scoop of Prevail. And what that is, that's 5 grams of glutamine, 2.5 grams of creatine magnet power, 2.5 grams of creatine monohydrate. So I'm going to throw that in there. And then I'm going to take two scoops of Centurion Labs Quadro Series Unrivaled, which is 25 grams of grass-fed non-GMO whey protein isolate with 25 grams of highly branched cyclodextrin. So ice, two scoops of Unrivaled, one scoop of Prevail, Zero clumping, zero foam, 
best shake you guys will ever have. And check out naturalbodyinc.com for all the exclusive deals of all the Centurion Labs products. I want to thank Muscular Development once again for coming out and shooting me. Centurion Labs, my sponsor, Gasp. I also want to thank K-Day Footwear. I want to thank Cardilla Weight Belts, P28, Protan, uh, NutriChef, NYC. I don't believe there's anybody else I'm missing, but uh, thank all my fans, supporters, and uh, nine weeks out from the 2016 Arnold Classic. Check out MD Forms for more contest coverage and high-intensity kick-ass workouts coming your way. Peace.